video about my highs and lows indicator, which I just recently uh, revamped. Um, originally, it was just the pre-market and after hours high. Um, but then I started getting into large caps and I realized that highs and lows are important um, for the daily ranges of every day. You know, whether they're, they're respected or broken, they're, they're definitely um, important. Um, so the, the main thing that it does is to draw the high and low of yesterday uh, the after hours and the pre-market and then also yesterday's close and then it draws the opening range um, and by default that's the first half an hour high and low um, so you can see this kind of light, lighter blue color is the the high and low um, so the way you can configure this is um, in the in the highs and lows indicator it looks like there's a lot of options here but there really aren't I mean most of it is whether or not you want to show individual lines so if you don't want to see the after hours high if you don't think that they're they're worth it or yesterday's high and high and low and close um, you can turn those off individually. Um, this, uh, the main thing though is that, that uh, and I think by default there's, there's no label, um, but you can turn on the label um, and that will just show you the numbers of the highs and lows. Uh, so you can see the after hours high, after hours low, pre-market high, pre-market low, um, previous high of day, previous low of day, previous close, and then the opening range here. Um, and those will obviously they'll change based on you know if you change the opening range um, in here as well and that's something you can do uh, right here the opening range in minutes it's set to 30 and that's just from experimentation um, and also originally I think uh, I heard about the idea from uh, I believe it was James Lefaith and he was using a half an hour um, and that just sort of establishes a like a box that um, you know just helps you sort of visualize where price action matters you know and so like obviously it stays within it for the first half of the day um, on this uh, 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 this was I think last week in Apple um, and then it came back and retested the opening range a few times um, so you know I mean they, it, there is some some validity to the, to that range. Um, but the way the, the, the numbers work is, so we've got um, the after hours uh, is the short dashes, the pre-market is the long dashes, yesterday is the solid lines, um, except for the opening range, which is solid um, and, a, and a blue color. And you can configure all of these colors down at the bottom, I'll show that in a second. Um, but then anything that's green is the high and orange is the low. So the, the after hours high is this short dashed line here, and the after hours low is this um, short dashed line here, the, the orange one. Um, now you can see the, the pre-market high, which is this long dash, and then the pre-market low, which is this long dash. So you can see the difference between um, after hours and pre-market. So when it gaps down, obviously that changes the way the range um, will display. Um, and then the yesterday's high and low are the, so the yesterday's high is this solid red line, or I'm sorry, that's the low, and yesterday's high is the um, it's not on this one, it's up above is the solid green line. And this, this uh, solid kind of beige line is yesterday's close. So it closed here. Um, so that's another area that can, can get respected or not. Um, so within here, you can also uh, set it up to only show a below or above a certain time range. So if you wanted to, you could set a couple of different ones. Like if you only wanted to see the opening range on the one and five minute charts, um, you could set that here, like only show below uh, you know, only show below 10 minutes and then that would only show on the five minute and below. Um, and if you only wanted to show the, the yesterday's um, high and low above uh, four hours, you know, you could set that in here like that way. Um, this, this part of the indicator, the show only the highest between after hours and pre-market was kind of back when I was doing experimenting to see if um, it was only the highest or lowest, so the, the highest between the after hours and pre-market that mattered. Uh, but they're both of the lines end up getting um, respect from price action in, in a lot of cases. And obviously every stock is different. Um, different markets will handle it differently. But um, th because they were both uh, showing interactions, I left them both on uh, as the default. Uh, then there's this other, this other thing that says make lines shorter, which is um, a nice way to unclutter your chart a little bit. If you don't like all of the lines, you can um, make the lines shorter and make the line distance um, smaller so you can say you know 10 10 bars on either side of where the price action is so when you um, apply it then the the price action well and of course now it's not showing up the um, but you can see down here the the lower one the price action is um, defining the range that the lines will show up so it, it's very easy to um, set that that specific um, area 
and it kind of unclutters your chart a little bit. It'll only show you uh, right around where you need to see it. Um, th so the other thing that you can do with these is change the, the default colors. Um, so, you know, obviously you can uh, set it to be a different uh, line distance and then set each of these individually to show or hide because um, maybe you know you don't want all of them. One of the things I do is turn off show bubble and show title for each one of these because it's an awful lot of information to show up in your left bar if you don't necessarily want the numbers to show up there. Um, that's why I added the label so you can turn all of these off. Um, you can also configure the line style on a lot of these. Um, so instead of the the opening range high and low, you can set to be you know a, a dotted line or, or something other than dashed if you want to have more visual clarity on that. Um, the way you change the colors is go into globals, and I almost always do this just because the initial color scheme is really bright because you can't set transparency in a script. So you can go in here. Um, initially, the script color is this bright kind of yellow, uh, but if you go into more, then you can set that transparency. Um, you click on the HSV or any, actually one of these tabs will, will just have, uh, have transparency on it, um, and just turn the transparency down a little bit, and that way um, you can make those lines a lot less dramatic um, but and also you can change the widths. So if you want the the um, the high the yesterday's um, where would it be yesterday's high and yesterday's low instead of just being you know one you can have it be uh, three like a heavier line to distinguish it a little bit more. So it's all like whatever whatever works for you. If you want to you know change the colors, change the the line styles. Um, some of them you can't change the style itself um, just because I had to set up defaults for them. Um, but other than that, you know I think. As always, I would love to hear if anybody is uh, is using the study and if the, if it's working for them and um, you know how uh, how you're liking it. Thanks.